Hey guys, what's up? <coughs> my name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. Do you guys remember in the, I think that was the fifth video or which video was, the, was this? Um, so was this, oh, it was, the sixth, it was the 17th video. We learned how to use the input box. Basically what we did was click on this button to enter an email such as SeanResult at gmail.com press OK and then press on the OK button just to, to just basically just display it so use the input box to basically receive the input of the email and today I'm learning how to use a message dialog to basically basically just display a message it's similar to the show message just a bit different so let's create a new VCL forms application I'm gonna add a simple button to display this thing Okay, there's many different types of message dialogues. I um, have them here written down. Yep. Okay, it's about one, two, three, four, five. There's five different ones. Okay, so let's add five buttons. Let's just align to top. Much easier. To top. But one is the empty, let's call it the warning one, and the error one, and the information one, and then the custom one. So let's do first to the first one. So it's simple, we just basically say message dialog in parameters. The first one we have basically for her, someone anyway, we basically have a message for it, such as this is the what the warning one. Uh, this is, is a warning, and then we have comma. Then the message dialog type which is empty warning and then we have basically the buttons which it uses let's skip that for now comma let just add a zero there and that's it for now so the buttons there's many different types of buttons we can say m s g d l g b t n dot or as we have a t dot this is quite a bit more neater. Like D M S G D. Basically, there stands message, dialog, and button. Then dot. And there are, are all the different kinds of buttons, as you can see. And the numbers here represents the the value it will give back if we use it as a function. Let's, let's use it as a function, shall we? If I can say this equals zero for now, then just change the phone color to black. One dot color color equals CL black. Okay. Let's add an OK button to this one. So if it's two Make it to this is a warning. Your form will will turn black. Okay, so it's basically a message dialog. It's a warning, and it uses it gives us an OK button. It's a warning. This is a warning. Your form will turn black. Okay. Okay, next, okay, I assume that it's not that, not two. But we can just say if it equals, for instance, MR. Okay. As you guys can see. Or if we, for instance, use the, the yes button, then it would be MR yes. 
or MR, whatever button you chose. Let's do the other one. Error. Empty error. This is an, an error. Your form will turn green if you press yes. CL green. We can have dot MB yes. Then comma MB no. Like guys don't actually have to have this also to start. It's just easier to select the different ones. So if it's equal to MR yes. For instance, oops there's an eight. It should not be there. So warning, this is a warning, your form will turn black, error, this is an error, your form will turn green if you press yes. So let's press no, then that doesn't do anything. If you press yes, it will turn it green. Okay. So, this is the information one. Empty. Information. Dot. Let's use the. Uh, okay, and MB board. If it's okay, they would just turn the form to blue. For now, let's also do a custom one. Empty. Custom. Let's say dot help. Why not mr help? If it's if it it's if it is mr help, then we can just change it to aqua. Aqua. Uh, oops. So as soon as it doesn't use the Mr. Help one, let's make it MB retry then. I probably have to select it with a number then. MB report with a T. Warning, error, information, and custom. That's basically just how to use a, a message dialogue. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah. I forgot something. You can also like select where it should display. For instance. Uh, let's... Just add a new button now. Oh, Shiza. Ah, Shiza. Okay. Let's make this custom position. You can actually also set the position of the dialogue. So, message dialogue, POS. And then after this, here we basically just add um, another comma and then first one is the x coordinates and then the, the, the y coordinates so we'll basically write let's say we want it to display um, at 900 and 900 is fine so now it's displaying over here at the bottom or for instance we make it 1 oops 1 and 100 now we'll display here as you guys can see so that's how to use the post position with it okay now we are finished bye guys bye